Today, I am adding all the spice sauce in the bulldog noodles. If I were a spice girl, I'd be baby. I absolutely suck at eating spicy food, so I'm grabbing milk, cheese, and juice to help me out. It's funny because before coming to Asia, I actually thought my spice tolerance was pretty good, but I've been humbled. Everything is so spicy here, my tummy is always crying. And since I'm adding so much dairy, I grabbed some juice instead of coffee because I don't need any trouble later. I tried adding a slice of cheese and a cup of milk to help me out, but I kept choking on the spice, so I added corn salad, more cheese, and more milk. I basically changed the noodles to be more like pasta with how much sauce there was. And the crazy thing is, this is actually only a three on the bulldog spice level, but it still killed me, so I kept adding more milk, and by the end of it, I was left with milk broth. I am on the hunt for the perfect cheesy meaty corn dog. Last time I tried one, the meat was only half the size. So this time I got one for the hot food selection and I'm pairing it with their signature cafe latte. I used Google Translate and it says this is the king big dog cheese. I was so excited for the cheese pull, but it didn't happen. The only thing that pulled was the breading and I love the bouncy texture, but I was quite disappointed in the cheese. Yellow is the color of my favorite foods, so I'm excited to be eating everything yellow today. I got this Eddie vanilla latte and it was crazy sweet. Low key even sweeter than the dessert I got. This morning muffin sandwich might be one of my favorite things I've eaten here. It was so cheesy. Cheesy. It was literally slipping out of my hands, but it tasted so good. I'm salivating all over again. And I love the texture of this ice cream sandwich. The low chunks of corn were so yummy. Green packaged food always makes me think it's going to be healthy, but I don't know how much this rings true considering I got kiwi juice, a hash brown rice bar, and pistachio ice cream. You all know I love my rice balls, so I was so excited to try the bar version, but the texture wasn't quite what I was expecting. The rice didn't seem sticky enough, and things keep falling apart. I got kimchi on my sleeve, and I'm wearing a t-shirt. It wasn't my favorite, but this pistachio ice cream saved the day. You know breakfast at the Korean convenience store is popular when they keep running out of coffee. I've been stuck with this deep coffee for the last few days because everything else is sold out, but I'm not complaining. It's slowly becoming a favorite breakfast table of mine. I also found this breakfast toast and rice cake muffin. The toast is perfectly buttered and I love the filling on the inside. The boiled eggs and bacon bits gave it so much texture and it was so creamy. And these rice cake muffins smell like Pillsbury dough right out of the oven. And they were so bouncy. I eat them every day if I could. I love my ramen, but once in a while, I miss my heavy cream pastas too. I got the two womba pasta that's named after the hit dish from Outback Steakhouse, and I paired it with stevia coffee. Weird combination, but I've been running on 3 hours of sleep, so this was a need. I never had stevia before, and it was definitely weird at first, but after a few sips, I realized I quite like it. And when I tell you guys I miss pasta, I really mean it. Just the sound of stirring the pasta made me so happy. My cravings are satisfied. I finally found topogi noodles at my convenience store in Korea. Everyone says these are better than regular noodles, so today I'm gonna give them a try. I actually found these last night during my midnight candy run, and I hid them so I could try them in the morning. In Korea, the default flavor is usually spice, so just in case, I got this lychee iced tea. It smelled and tasted like the real fruit. I kind of want someone to turn this into a candle, and maybe a perfume, or an air freshener. Either way, I'm obsessed with how it smells. And it was a good thing I got it because although these noodles were super yummy, chewy, and bouncy, they were spicy. I thought topoki was rice cake, but the actual translation is spicy rice cake. The peppers from the cheese powder had me sweating. It's a good thing I also bought ice cream to cool things down. Cheese and ramen? I see this all the time in K-dramas, so today we're gonna test it out. But first, you know I have to grab my drinkity drink. It's good. It has a crab on it, so I'm gonna assume it's not spicy. Mm, that's good. <coughs> it's spicy. I have cheese in my pocket. I'm gonna add it in because it's a little spicy. It was so hard finding purple packaged food. I spent so long walking around the convenience store, the workers were getting confused. But I'm on a mission today to eat a full meal in purple. There's jelly. Literally the only thing I could find. Shells. Sometimes I'm scared to try new things because I'm afraid I won't like it, but I couldn't resist this cute packaging. Today I'm trying the Guatemala coffee, but I'm grabbing banana milk just in case I don't like it. Mm. Truth be told, I'm not a great coffee drinker. I mostly like the really sugary stuff, so this was pretty bitter to me. I'm glad I got the banana milk. Banana literally overpowers everything, so it ended up tasting alright. You can't go wrong with the bento box. This baby came packed with fried tofu sushi, chicken, and noodles. They didn't pay us at that. 
Okay, I'll try this one. <laughs> I've been craving rice cakes, and the uncle at the Korean convenience store recommended these ones to me. And if uncle recommends it, I'm gonna try it. This grapefruit iced tea is new, so I grabbed it too. It didn't really taste like grapefruit, to be honest. It was more like a lemon iced tea, but it tasted pretty good, and it has zero calories. And I love rice cakes, but usually they don't come with protein. But lucky for me, this one came with a pre-cooked egg. The texture of the rice cake was so chewy. I'm still so impressed by the texture of Korean convenience store food. Like all I did was put it in some hot water and into the microwave and it was really good. But it was kind of spicy and my egg was green. I love finding new convenience store combinations. Today, I'm placing spicy fried chicken in between the famous 7-Eleven egg sandwich. My friend from Japan gave me this idea and I love how the fluffiness of the bread and egg complements the crispiness of the chicken. I'm going to dance class later, so I'm grabbing a quick snack at the Korean convenience store. I've been craving for onigiri for days, but it's been sold out. I finally got my hands on the tuna rice ball. This is my go-to and all-time favorite. And since I'm working out, that means I need some energy and sugar. And that also means I deserve some dessert, right? Does anyone else do this? I feel like I use working out as an excuse to justify my horrible eating habits, but I just love sweets. This drink is also zero calories and zero sugar, so the balance is out the sugary dessert, right? It's all about balance, right? I'm so excited to be eating everything orange today. In my last video, I ate cheese mochi ice cream and it was such an interesting experience. Today, I'm trying cheesy noodles but they aren't the famous bulldog noodles. I'm a spice baby, literally everything hurts my tummy. So just in case I needed some help, I got this creamy caramel latte. Surprisingly, there was no spice but I actually found myself craving it to offset the amount of cheese. And I love pairing my noodles with meat sticks now. But again, it would have been nice to have some kind of heat. For dessert, I got peanut butter ice cream and it was sticky. I'm feeling blue. All my friends left Korea. So today, I'm eating all blue food from the Korean convenience store. I am living my K-drama dreams eating at the 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven in Korea is already amazing, but the one by the Han River is my favorite. It's a bit more expensive. This meal for two was $33, but you get to cook your own meal, enjoy the best view, and it's so much fun to do with friends. Spicy. Mmm. 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 Ready and... <laughs> Today, I'm taking Rylan to his first Korean convenience store. Please. Wait, what the heck? That's like perfect. Look at that. It looks so good. Today, I'm trying the famous convenience store egg sandwich, but with pork floss. I'm pairing it with this cafe latte. I'm basically addicted to this and have drank it three times this week. So I'm mixing it up with this chocolate protein drink. It tasted a little too much like protein, if you know what I mean. But the cafe latte made it so much sweeter. And Asian convenience stores don't miss when it comes to sandwiches. This was so creamy and sweet. I'm always eating at the convenience store in Korea. But it's usually the same thing. So in my last video, I challenged myself to eat a meal in every single color. Pink was one of my favorites for drinks. This cafe latte tastes like Vietnamese coffee. I'm also making this giant bowl. Last time I did it, I made it wrong. So the uncle at the convenience store helped me. Okay. It still ended up spilling over, but the microwave is magic because it came out super chewy. If I told anyone I was getting fried chicken from a convenience store, they'd tell me I was crazy. In Korea, the hot food is not only safe, but it's fresh, juicy, and delicious. I paired it with a chocolate latte and an egg kimbap. Did you know you can eat kimbap like a burrito? I only slept for three hours last night, so I'm in desperate need of an energy drink. I'm mixing my Sunrise Monster with this Apple Mango Aid since energy drinks sometimes taste like cough syrup. 
and I'm just hoping my heart doesn't burst from all the sugar. It is flu season in Korea and almost everyone is getting sick. I slept for 11 hours yesterday and today I am eating the most healthy things I could find at a convenience store. I accidentally got the kimchi rice onigiri, but apparently spicy food is good for your immune system. This lemonade was really delicious, a boost of vitamin C and zero sugar added, and of course I had to get in some greens before taking my medicine. This is what $10 gets you at a Korean convenience store. Back home in Canada, $10 wouldn't even buy me an appetizer. But here, I get a drink, sushi rolls, and a dessert. This sweet potato drink was super thick, like thick with two C's. And this sushi roll is probably one of my favorite things I ever got. I just couldn't stop eating it. And this roll cake was so creamy. I lost my wallet in Korea yesterday, but I'm still hungry, so we're gonna eat first. And luckily, they take Apple Pay. I chose this drink because the girl on it has a shock face, which is me right now. It was actually quite mild. The microwave usually does amazing things, but it made the corn dog a bit too soft and it was really doughy. And even though the cheese pull was fun, I had to keep searching for the meat. This is what $5 gets you at a 7-Eleven in Korea. Last time I was in Korea, I made these noodles wrong, so we're back and we're trying again. I drained the noodles first before adding the seasoning pot, but it still looked wrong, so I added a little water, and it looked so much better. I was nervous, but I think we finally got them right. The noodles came out really chewy, and the sauce was a perfect mix of sweet and salty. I landed in Korea less than 24 hours ago, slept for 15 of it, and went to the convenience store three times. Today, I am recreating the best thing I ate in Japan. I'm making pancakes with chicken. This looks like a burger, and it was insanely big and kind of hard to eat. I also didn't realize that the chicken in Korea is boned. But for $4, I'm not complaining. Pro tip, to make everything extra juicy, microwave the pancakes and I'll melt the cream. I asked for a recommendation because I really wanted coffee, but the uncle told me I should drink a smoothie instead. It was around 5 p.m. at this point, so maybe he was right. The smoothie is zero sugar added, which is a huge win for me. I also got my favorite snack that I deeply miss, cuttlefish peanut balls. It's official, I eat here too often. The Jishi who works here is officially my best friend. He helped me choose my drink because he saw me roaming around for way too long. Kind of embarrassing, but they just have so many options. <laughs> The drink was so good, Ajashi chose really well. These are the skinny fit noodles. I thought I'd give them a try and be a little bit more healthy, or at least as much as I can be eating instant noodles. They were a bit light, so I added crab meat and egg. Poor girl vibes because this egg is from what I bought at a convenience store yesterday. 